Highlights from the 71st Scientific Sessions of the American Diabetes Association is brought to you by Cronus. This is the world's largest, most prestigious diabetes meeting, where professionals learn about the latest advances in over 200 cutting-edge sessions, presented by world-renowned diabetes experts. I'm Dr. James R. Gavin III, CEO and Chief Medical Officer of Healing Our Village, Incorporated, and past president of the American Diabetes Association. The SHIELD study found, among other things, that while 67% of people who are at high risk for the progression uh, to diabetes know that they are at risk and know that they need to increase their physical activity, only 13% of those people who have been told by their doctors and are aware of what they need to do are actually doing it. Now what this highlights is the fact that we have found that many people who are at risk for diabetes or who have diabetes and are at risk for worsening diabetes know what their risks are and know what they need to do to reduce those risks and to prevent that progression. They simply don't know how to make the changes that are necessary. And so what we need to do more of, we need more policy changes in place to assist people in making the kinds of changes that will prevent their, their progression of disease. We need to put into their hands more of the kinds of simple to use tools that show them how to make the lifestyle changes that will be so important in changing the outcome of their diabetes. More incentives, more kinds of, of, of documents like the NDEP uh, makes available for free, the game plan, prevention documents like the ADA has, all of these are the kinds of things that we now have to make part of the clinical encounter so that people will have a much better sense of how to make the changes that are needed to prevent the progression of their disease. These are some of the kinds of elements that we're going to have to incorporate more often into the clinical visits so that patients will get the tools that they need to change the course of their diabetes. You're watching highlights from the 71st Scientific Sessions of the American Diabetes Association. annual research and clinical meeting on diabetes, the 72nd Scientific Sessions in Philadelphia. You've been watching highlights from the 71st Scientific Sessions of the American Diabetes Association. 